Hallelujah. Well, hello, 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 everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. God, we honor you as we read this psalm. I thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, that you are writing it on our hearts and thanksgiving, hallelujah, takes on a new meaning for us. We thank you for it, Father. Oh, glory to your name, hallelujah. Thank you for highlighting the, the verses, hallelujah, that you want us to hone in on and to grow in. I thank you for it, Father. Oh, glory to your name, hallelujah. Glory, Lamb of God, you alone are worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you. We invite you into our rooms. We invite you into our home. We invite you into our car. We invite you into our cubicle. We invite you into our heart. Oh, Holy Spirit, we can do nothing without you. Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for our heart of thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord. Oh, glory, God. We bless your name. Oh, you are worthy. Hallelujah. We lift your name on high. Oh, glory, God. Oh, glory, God. We thank you for your word. We thank you for how your word is transforming us. We thank you for how your word is maturing us. Hallelujah. We thank you for how your word is correcting us. We thank you that you're pulling out everything that is no longer useful. Hallelujah. And you're planting, hallelujah, new depth of your word in us, greater uh, depths in you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. You're growing us. We're being matured by your word. Hallelujah. We're both, we're building ourselves up. Hallelujah. We're increasing our capacity in prayer. We're increasing our capacity to pray. Oh, we thank you, Lord God. We glorify your name. You're increasing our capacity in you. And we thank you for it, God. We thank you for it, God. Hallelujah. We bless you, God. We bless you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Oh, how we bless you. Oh, glory, Lamb of God. Glory, Lamb of God. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Oh, how we bless your name. Father, as we read Psalm 30, open it up to us, God. Hallelujah. Don't let us see it the way we've always seen it, but let us hear what you are saying and apply it to our lives. We thank you for it, Father. Oh, we bless you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, God. Thank you, Lord God. Psalm 30 says, I give you all the credit, God. Hallelujah. Oh God, I thank you. You got me out of that mess. You didn't let my foes gloat. God, my God, I yelled for help and you put me together where I was all messed up, where I was broken and confused. You put me together, God, and I give you all the credit. Hallelujah. God, you pulled me out of the grave. You gave me another chance at life when I was down and out, when everybody counted me out, hallelujah, it was you, God, that came and said, I'm giving you another chance, hallelujah, go out there and run, go out there and live, go out there and proclaim my glory, hallelujah, Oh, I thank you for it, God. All you saints, sing your hearts out to God. Open your mouth up and sing out to God. Oh, God, thank him to his face. Hallelujah. He gets angry once in a while, but across a lifetime, there is only love. God only has love for you and I. Hallelujah. Even when he's angry, he's no different than you. When you get angry with your kids, you don't stop loving them. Hallelujah. So God is the same way. The nights of crying your eyes out give way to days of laughter. When things were going great, I crowd. I've got it made. Oh God. I'm God's 
favorite. He made me king of the mountain. Then you look the other way and I fell to pieces. God, never take your eye off of me. God, let your eye always rest upon me. When your eye rests upon me, I walk in your favor. Oh God, I thank you, Lord God, that my heart will not get puffed up whenever you allow me to uh, gain victory, whenever you allow me to see the goodness that you pour out upon my life life. I will not get propped up in pride. I don't want your eye to ever come off of me. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I don't want to fall to pieces. I want to walk in your glory all the days of my life. I called out unto you, God. I laid my case before you. I didn't try to hide it. I laid everything out, Lord God. I laid out all my debts. I laid out my court trials. I laid out my fears. I laid everything out to you, God. I laid out all the accusations. Oh God, I praise your name. I praise your name. I praise your name. Oh God, I thank you. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. That my case is laid out before you. Hallelujah. Can you sell me for a prophet when I'm dead? No, God. Hallelujah. Can you auction me off at the cemetery yard sale? No, God. Hallelujah. When I'm dust to dust, my songs and stories of you won't sell. So listen and be kind. Help me out of this. Hallelujah. I cannot give you glory in the grave. I cannot give you glory when I'm down and out. Hallelujah. So I thank you, God, for helping me. Glory. You did it. You changed my wild lament into a whirling dance. Hallelujah. The tears have dried up. The distress has removed itself from my life. The depression no longer has a, a hold on my life because I am now thanking you for bringing me out. Hallelujah. You brought me out over and over and over again. So I learned to trust you. My confidence is in you, Lord God. I thank you for it. You ripped off my black mourning band. Hallelujah. That's depression. That mourning. Huh? You lifted it up off of me, God. And I give you praise for it. Hallelujah. And you deck me with wildflowers. You know what it's like whenever you're driving and you see wildflowers and you look over at them and you go, oh, that's so pretty. That's how you are right now. You're pretty because Thanksgiving is coming out of your mouth and we thank you for it. I'm about to burst with song. I can't keep quiet about you, God. My God, I can't thank you enough. Hallelujah. Do you see how when we thank God, when we thank God, when we stop and thank God for all that he has done, it changes. Do you see how David wrote down in here? He said that when things are going great, hallelujah, and God has allowed you to rest at the top of that mountain, don't hallelujah get so caught up thinking that it's you that's got you up there on that mountain. For the moment God turns his face away from you, things begin to crumble. My God, but stay in a place of thanksgiving to God. Stay in that place of thankfulness and gratitude and watch God continually pour out into your life. My God, thank him for the breath that you breathe. Thank him for everything. Thank him for your home. It may not be the one that you want. You may be in a one bedroom apartment, but thank him for that. You may be in a home and you really want a bigger home. Thank him for the one that you have. Thank him for the air that you breathe. Thank him that you're in your right mind. Thank you that thank him that you have the ability, hallelujah, to use all your limbs. Thank him for the vehicle. Thank him for transportation. If you don't have a vehicle, you have a bus you can get on. You have Uber you can call. Come on, church. Let's become thankful. Stop whining about everything and just tear, turn your focus to God. Listen, I 
I want you to spend, hallelujah, the rest of June, the rest of June, the rest of June, I want you to bless God 100 times a day. I want you to thank God 100 times a day. There is a difference between blessing him thanking him. When you bless him, go look it up what it means to bless him. And then I want you to thank him. Thank him for everything. Thank him for the trials. Thank him, Lord God. Thank him because those trials are building you. God is wanting you to become strengthened. God is wanting you to grow up. You've been walking with him for 30 years and you're still a babe in Christ. You're not spending time in this word. You're not applying this word to your life. And he's saying it's time to grow up, son. It's time to grow up, daughter. Hallelujah. Because the time is coming where you're going to have to know him for yourself. Hallelujah. You might not be able to call on the pastor. You might not be able to call on the prophet. You might not be able to call your mom or your dad, but you're going to get down on your face and you're going to call on God and you're going to see how he answers you. Glory. You got to know him for yourself. Oh, glory, God. Take this word and allow it to be written on the tables of your heart. What did Holy Spirit highlight to you? I need you to build that thing up. I need you to pray it out. What we call fleshing it out. Make it plain. Begin to pray through it. Use this song to be your catapult, to, to, to get you into a place where you are thankful, thankful for the things that God does. Hallelujah. This whole month of June for the rest, what day are we on? The 16th. So for the next, what, 14 days, hallelujah. I need you to bless God 100 times a day. I need you to thank God 100 times a day. And it's going to change your perspective. It's going to change how you see God. It's going to change how you see your situations. Come on. It's time for us to be thankful. It's time for us to be grateful for what God has done. If he doesn't do another thing, the fact that you're in your right mind, the fact that you are breathing, hallelujah, is enough to give him thanks thanks. So I thank him. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's take these songs and make them come alive. My God. Oh, glory to your name. Father, we bless you. Father, we thank you. Father, we magnify your name. Oh, you are worthy of all of the praises. And if I praise you 10,000 times in this one day, it still wouldn't be enough. Hallelujah for all that you have done. I don't magnify my problems. I look at God and I see how big he is. And I notice that my problem is minute. It's so small compared to God. So whatever it is you're facing, take that thing and begin to thank God for the answer. Begin to bless him for the answer. Begin to ask him for the strategy. Thank him for that strategy and move on it. All right, my people of God, we thank you for coming out here to join us as we read Psalm 30. Next time we come on, we'll be reading Psalm 31. And we want to bless God <clears throat> for the, excuse me, for these Psalms and how they are going to transform our life. If you apply what you are reading to your life, you will never be the same. The problem is, is we've allowed the word of God to just be words on a paper, but you have to flesh them out. You have to pray them through. You have to work out your soul salvation. You have to apply this word to your life. Nobody else can do that for you. Salvation was the easy part, but now you got to work this word. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. You got to work this word. It's got to become real to you. Can't nobody else do that for you. You got to do it. Listen, we thank you all for coming out here and joining us as we read the Psalms. I don't know. Today is very different. Hallelujah. It's very different from any time that we have read the Psalm, but I thank God for it. I thank him. I thank him for you.
I thank him for what he's doing in your life. I thank you for how he's revealing himself to you. I thank you for how he's growing you in him. Oh, glory, Lamb of God. May your people, hallelujah, see you, hallelujah, and magnify your name. Oh, glory, God. Hallelujah. Make your name great here in the earth, God, through us. Glory, God. We thank you, Lord God. We bless you, Father. Father. We bless you for your word. Hallelujah. It is your word that builds us. It is your word that strengthens us. It is your word that encourages us. It is your word that we build our lives upon. Our foundation is your word. Hallelujah. I rest in your word. Your word refreshes me. Hallelujah. And I thank you for it. Oh God, you're worthy. Hallelujah. You're worthy, Lord God. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name. Thank you for building my capacity in you, Lord God. Thank you for building me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Holy Spirit, you are the master teacher and we invite you into our life. Holy Spirit, we need you. Holy Spirit, teach us. Hallelujah. Teach us the will of God. Teach us the way the kingdom works. Teach us how to come before God. Hallelujah. In reverence and thanksgiving. Oh, Holy Spirit, we need you. We need you. We want you in our house. We want you on our jobs. We want you in our thought processes. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. You are welcome into our lives. Oh, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. Oh, glory to your name, Father. Glory to your name. <clears throat> thank you, dear God. We bless your holy name. Father, we thank you that healing, hallelujah, manifest while we're in your presence. Deliverance manifests while we are in your presence. Oh, glory, God. Hallelujah. Glory. We walk in your divine strength and divine life. We thank you and divine health. Lord God, whatever it is that your people are facing, I thank you that as we read your word, they begin to see the clutches of the enemy dismantled from their lives. Hallelujah. And they're beginning to become free in you. The scales are coming off of their eyes and they're seeing your word for the first time. Or even for some, they're seeing your word in greater measure, in depth. Hallelujah. We thank you for it, Father. We thank you for what you're doing in the lives of your people. As we go about our day, we will give you blessings and thanksgiving all throughout the day. For this, God, we thank you. We thank you that we're alive on this day to give you glory, but we can't give you glory when we're dead. But while we're here, we are going to give you thanks and we're going to bless your name. We're going to make your name great in the earth. And for this, God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All that we have prayed, all that we ask, we ask it in the name of Jesus. And we bless your name, Father. Glory, Lamb of God. Hallelujah, we bless you. Oh, Lamb of God, Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lamb of God. We bless you, Lamb of God. Oh, glory, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, dear God. We thank you, Father. Oh, glory, Lamb of God. Hallelujah, bless your name. Oh, we bless your name, Father. Oh, we bless your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not even sure if I introduced myself. Oh, we bless you, God. We thank you, dear God. You are worthy, God. Oh, thank you, Father. 
Oh, glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. We thank you, Father. We thank you. I'm not sure if I even uh, uh, opened up. I don't even remember how I opened up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But just in case I didn't, welcome to praying the Psalms with purpose. And I am Chantel. We are reading the Psalms and applying the word to our life. If this channel bless you, I would ask you to consider subscribing to it. And don't forget to share it with others. I never know how it's going to happen each time we get on, but I'm just being led by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. We don't want to be a people who have been walking with God year after year after year, going to church, but not applying the word to our life. <clears throat> Excuse me. So as we read the psalm and whatever Holy Spirit highlights to you, that is what he wants to deal with in your life. All right. So we want you to grow in God, <clears throat> grow in the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Listen, if it comes down to it and the, and the whole world is shut down again and we see something like what happened in the pandemic, we never thought that the whole world would shut down. But listen, you have to be strong in God. We are noticing that after the pandemic, so many people who were going to church have stopped going to church. Number one, it's not the church, you're the church. So we want you to make sure that you are strong. Build your capacity. That if something happens and the internet goes down, Something happens and you can't leave your house and it's just you and your family. You know how to get into this word and build your family and pray and allow God to enter into your home. Come on. God is getting this earth ready for what is coming. My God, my God. So you got to build yourself. All right. So that's what we're doing here on this station, on this channel. We are building ourselves in the word of God. So if this channel is a blessing to you, I ask, <clears throat> excuse me, that you would subscribe to the channel. As you know, more subscriptions allow more people to see the channel. And that's what we're wanting to do is to get the name of the, of the voice of the Lord out there where people are reading the word again and you're learning it for yourself. So we thank you for it. We ask that you would come back next time with us as we read Psalm 31. Thank you so much for allowing us to come into your life and make sure that you uh, keep abreast of what we're doing. We've got a lot of things that we're working on. We'll bring those to you at a later time, but make sure you stay tuned to this channel as we continue to grow in God and we pray the Psalms with purpose. We'll see you next time. We love you. Bye-bye and amen. Of all that we pray, I don't even know if I did this, all that we pray or that we ask you for, Lord God, we ask it in the name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lamb of God. Ha, we thank you, Lord God. We bless your name and we love you for it, Father. We love you, Father. We love you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you for this moment of time with you. We bless your name and we thank you that your people are being blessed by the reading of your word. We'll see you next time. Amen.